spirit wolf today. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Runner Beer Review. You have Rhino, Alicia, Katie, and your remote. My remote just got here, yes. <laughs> Amazon delivered our remote. Uh, we have from Sons of Kent, this is a Spirit Wolf Coffee Blonde. So you had a coffee blonde a few nights ago. Yeah. Now you have another one. This one is 5.1% alcohol by volume. Uh, ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, coffee, and yeast. It contains barley and wheat. So that's the allergen work. Could you be allergic to coffee? I don't think you could. I mean... I suppose. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone being allergic to coffee, but I guess it's not really. Almost some people, I mean, there are some foods in that that are hypoallergenic, right? Ooh, that's a very, uh, give that a sniff. I can smell that as I pour it. That smells like coffee grounds. <laughs> it does, like, you know when you open up a oh, filter? It does. <laughs> it's a tinny splash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's full-on just coffee. There's no beer smell, there's nothing like that, it's just coffee. You guys are crystal clear, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a tiny bit of haze to me. But I mean, it's that, it's hard to tell the colors under here because we're under the, uh, fairy the fish fairy lights and, you know, there's the twinkling lights and stuff too to mess with your eyes. Oh, our, our remote left. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, smells good. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. It's You're like, not a coffee drinker. But it tastes just like it smells, and that's not mm. how it's supposed to taste. True, true, it's, true. It's like, it's like a watered-down coffee. It is. It's like a very watered-down you know coffee with like, a little bit of like that dirty beer you taste You know what it, it is? It's when you run, you brew a coffee, and then you try to brew another coffee with the exact same grounds, and it just doesn't... And you, you, you forgot about it or yeah, something? Yeah, it doesn't come out with the same strength. Uh, we had a guy at the casino... And uh, he was actually Colombian, so it was actually even funnier. But he brewed a pot of coffee, and then he brewed another pot of coffee on the exact same grinds. And he looked at us and he goes, what do you mean? That's what you're supposed to do. No. no. It's not like tea leaves. Tea leaves you can reuse. And grounds, he came up to me later and he goes, why were people making fun of me? I go, well, one, because you did that. And two, because you're from the nation that's supposed to know how to make coffee. Mm -hmm. And you re-ran it again. And it was like the the big like oh, no. big big tubs mm. like the big carafes that we would put on the carts and stuff. Mm. So that second one was basically like brown sludge water, mm -hmm. yeah. which is kind of what this tastes like. <laughs> You're like it's not horrible, but it's not it's not what I wanted of a coffee beer. No, what I'm saying isn't that oh my god it it tastes horrible, but when you think of a coffee beer, and you think you're going to get coffee. I mean the coffee's there. Uh, I think if you hated coffee, like did they use? Fresh? Well, you hate coffee. Can I you... love the smell, but I do not like the taste. Is that a super turn off flavor, or can you stomach that if you had to? I can stomach it definitely. I've yeah, tried so, I to mean, like coffee. I, I think that this is a beer that if you weren't a coffee fan, you could get behind possibly, if you really had to. But if you're somebody that's looking for like that in your face coffee, you're not going to like it. I don't know. It doesn't taste like they used fresh grounds for no. it. Okay. It's just... But I mean, they, because it's a blonde, right? Sometimes you'll do something like that. You'll use like a weaker coffee because you don't want to overpower it because a blonde beer is a fairly light, light. generic beer to begin with. So I mean, it could have been planned out. I don't know if it was or not. Out of 10, I don't know, six for me. Go ahead. Is a blonde beer in light in terms of color and taste or just color? Usually color and taste, but it all matters what type of blonde it is, right? Like a, a Belgian blonde will have more of a flavor to it than an American blonde or something. An American blonde ale or an American blonde lager will be pretty much tasteless. A Belgian blonde will have a lot more stuff in it. Okay. Well, that makes more sense because, it, yeah, it is the lighter coffee taste, I guess you could say. That makes sense. But I give it a three because I definitely can like it. Yeah, I give it like a four. I mean, I could... I could tolerate it, it doesn't leave me wretch, but it's not something okay. I would be just casually sitting on. So a three, a four, and a six for Spirit Wolf from Sons of Kent. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.